Shalom friends, this is Pastor Marcy here to welcome you wherever you may be into this moment and into this space. And so welcome in the name of God, our creator, Jesus Christ, our redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our sustainer. So welcome back or welcome to this monastic Monday, uh, first Monday in November. And uh, we remember that each time we gather, we gather because we need to take a deep breath. We need to release and receive God's grace. We also recognize and remember that we're human. We need rest. And God actually commands us to participate in good Sabbath rest. And so if this is a space where you can have some tools and some ways in which you might be needing that invitation to that good Sabbath rest. Here it is, my friends. And so uh, each week we are uh, going to have the same format. Um, so it's reading a psalm for the day and reading through that twice. So really allowing us to have the words fall on our heart and really soak in uh, the good news of each psalm as well as an invitation to a spiritual practice, and then a benediction or blessing from a beloved mystic. And so for today, uh, our psalm is Psalm 128. And if you're following along in your scripture passages, um, please do so. Um, but if not, um, please uh, sit back, relax, close your eyes, and even so, just begin to take a few deep breaths. Hear now this word of the Lord. Happy is everyone who fears the Lord who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy and it shall go well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children Peace be upon Israel. So just take a moment to let that scripture sink in. And I'll read the scripture again, but with that first time being read through, just take note what words or phrases stuck out to you. Maybe you had some specific questions about the text. I know I do. Hear the word of the Lord again. And notice, again, the ways the Spirit is moving within you. Happy is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy and it shall go well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So this spiritual practice for today um, was actually my children's message from yesterday. Um, I truly believe that we're all children at heart. And so there's not necessarily an, an age where one doesn't become a child. And the... The children's message was based on All Saints Day, which was yesterday. Um, so in the church calendar, um, we celebrate 
All Saints, All Souls Day. And it's a day we remember the saints. We remember uh, the people who have influenced not only our faith, but also the church. And these are also people who maybe have passed away, or they also could be living saints, people that we still look to. Um, and so, to you know, All Saints Day is a really powerful day. Um, it's a good day to reflect and to remember those who have influenced you. And so I know in this space on Monastic Mondays, you often hear me talk about saints. Um, but yeah, you know, I in my children's message yesterday, I talked about saints are the people who inspire me because of their faith. People who are loving, compassionate, kind, forgiving, justice-seeking, humble. People who inspire me because of their faith. So for today's practice, I want us to think about who are the people that inspire us because of their faith. These could be people that are living, people who you know, people maybe you're even related to. But they could also be people who have passed, who have gone to glory with God, and um, yet still their ripple effects. We still feel those today. I also was thinking, you know, okay, what would be a good way to practice this? Um, kind of a way to honor the saints who have, um, have inspired us. Um, so I actually like put together like a little collage very, very simple. And these are just some people who inspire me. So I was thinking of Mary, the mother of Jesus, her witness. It's very inspiring to me. I think of Archbishop uh, St. Oscar Romero. I also think of uh, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And then also uh, St. Joan of Arc. These are people who I don't know, and yet their faith and their witness in the world has impacted me and has made me, um, yeah, it's, it's inspired me because you can see the work of the Holy Spirit within them. And so today I want you to think about who are those people that inspire you? Who are the people that you look to when you're experiencing doubts or maybe fear, anxieties. And that this year especially has been one filled with a lot of fear and anxiety. Because like in the Psalm that we read, Psalm 128, the children's children, the generational faith is something that is mentioned in scripture a lot. That it's not just for one specific generation. God's work and God's love and mercy and forgiveness aren't just for one generation or one people group, but it's for all people. It's for all people, all generations, past, present, and to come. And we can have faith in that. We can trust in that, that we have a great cloud of witnesses supporting us, praying for us, and inspiring us. Amen. And as you go out from this day feeling maybe inspired, um, another person who you can look to is St. Therese of Lizot. Uh, she is like a modern day saint and she was kind of known mostly for the way that she invited simplicity and even so much so that she's kind of nicknamed like the patron saint of flowers like she's called like little flower she was very enamored with how god could create something so beautiful and so small and so a lot of her teachings and writings are based on how we can see god's glory in small ways and she offers us this blessing for today jesus Help us to simplify our lives by learning what you want us to be and then becoming those people. Amen. Friends, it's been a gift to share this time with you. And until next time, the peace of Christ be with each of you.